What you see today in this ministry is a product of yesterday's mindset. By the privilege of God's grace, tomorrow will show the adjustment we have made in our thinking. Are we together? It is impossible. Listen. I think I used to tell the school of ministry students, let's assume, I like to use the fathers for an example. Ladies and gentlemen, let's assume that Daddy Gio just walks in here and says, brethren, I forgot my wallet and my car keys. What do you think is going to happen to him? The mindset he has through the sacrifice of grace does not allow the holder of that mindset to be without help. Are you getting the point now? So the moment he makes that announcement, you who did not give to your relative will carry 10 million and say, sir, I've been praying to give you. And he says, I don't need it. He said, no problem. Another person will go and buy a brand new car in Abuja with all this economic problem you are saying. There is a mindset that forbids him to be struggling. Did you get that now? It's the truth. It's the truth. I saw this with my life, with all due respect. I never told people, stop giving me five naira. Stop giving me two naira. All I needed to do was to grow to a point that giving me one naira becomes unfair. You don't have to tell people. Don't tell people to change their, change your own value and grow. It will reflect in the way people perceive you. I tell you why some people will never come to your restaurant. There is something in that restaurant that fights their vision. They want to go forward. They want to be inspired. But because there are flies in your restaurant and the moment they are done eating, you want to maximize profit, you have only two workers in a restaurant as big as this place. And people come there, the tables are unkept, they are not clean, everything is careless and then you are charging them. Something in that restaurant is driving their level of transformation. So there is a certain class of people, as a man of God, with all due respect, I will tell you, there is a certain class of people that will never come to identify with your vision. You know why? When they see childishness, immaturity, you are wasting their time, no intelligence, the truths are not life applicable, there is no discipline. Nobody will carry his wife and children as a director, as a great person. Influence has a mindset. Influence is a language. That when you pay the price, to rise to that level, you will command the attention of those who find it in you. This is how transformation leads to liberty. If I want koinonia to grow higher than this, it starts by spiritual growth, then intellectual growth, then greater growth. I have to dominate my mind with a mindset that attracts the level I'm looking for. Are we together now? If my thinking stops, koinonia stops to reflect my mindset. If I backslide in my thinking, mysteriously, you will not have the passion to come here again. It will not be that you hate me. Something about your appetite for growth is being fought by my lack of growth. Let me tell you the truth. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to become an exceptional leader, grow to a point where your transformation is so superior it becomes unfair to be ignored. Unfair to be ignored. Doesn't matter what nation you go to. Unfair to be ignored. Hallelujah. I was jokingly telling my school of ministry students that when I went to deliver my lecture in Harvard, something happened to my notes. The morning that I was going to deliver the lecture, my softwares were updating and this thing just scattered my notes like that. I had like three or so hours and then a major part of my lecture notes had just disappeared. I said, what is this? But you see, if you know those days will come, start preparing now. How do you prepare? By relating with global minds, relating with global informations. This is your commitment to God and your destiny that I don't want to remain small. All that notes that I put in the lecture was prepared within three hours. You see. There are things you cannot fake. You can copy a note and read it and intelligent people will look at you and say, this is the last time you will come here because they know you are disconnected with that result. It did not come from you. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever you have allowed to keep you in one place, whatever has come into partnership with Satan in your life, through your mind, in the name of Jesus, let it depart now and forever. Sit down, let me wrap up. 
Greed is a mindset. It's not an attitude. It's a mindset. A mindset that has informed you that all you have is all there is. And if you bring out anything and give, whether to God or his servant or anything, it depletes you. You interpret depletion as losses and so you don't give. Giving is a mindset. The Macedonians had it. What is the mindset? The mindset is built from scripture that there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. There is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty. The first time you read that scripture, it will wrestle the general idea to keep. You have to keep planting that seed by hearing and repetition until it gains ascendance beyond every other information. How about laziness? Laziness is beyond an attitude. It is a mindset. A mindset. Diligence is a mindset. I told you that every time you open the Bible, see heaven proposing different mindsets for you. This is the kind of life I've prepared for you. I said before you blessing and cursing. A life of excellence or a life of mediocrity. Choose. So every time you wake up in the night and you are studying scripture, do you know what you are saying? Lord, I agree with the mindset of a victor. Or Lord, I agree with the mindset that kept those behind me or those who came before me limited. A man of God asked me a question and said, how do you prepare your sermons? Because sometimes we see you everywhere from pillar to post and yet on Sunday. I said, what of those who preach multiple times every week? There is a system for excellence and efficiency. If you don't know it, follow them who through faith and patience, instead of disgracing your destiny again, there's no need reinventing the wheel. There are people who have mastered the art of efficiency. Are we learning now? Some of you are here and you desire promotion. Let me tell you sincerely, I will speak over you, but I've taught you the value of the anointing is when it rests upon a transformed mind. The mind gives the capacity. Prophecy and the speakings of God now gives allowance for it to find expression. Whatsoever your hand find it to do, excellence is a mindset. Insisting on standards is a mindset. Cutting corner is a mindset. I hope you know that. Bribery and corruption is a mindset. It's not an attitude. It's a mindset. It's a mindset. When God wants to help you, he opens up the way through salvation. And he now begins to do the work of the mindset. But remember, ladies and gentlemen, because there are contents already in your mind, releasing all kinds of energies and attracting to your life unpleasant situations. Listen, the things that God has brought to my life today were always there, but there was a version of me they were looking for. And the former version of me made it unfair for them to come. I hope you know when God called me, you were there. You were still on earth. Why didn't you come? Because my level of transformation made it unfair for someone of your destiny to be under me at that point. It took transformation alongside the mercy of God. Now he has brought you. There are still others. If I remain here, they will not come. A day will come where Gentiles will come to your light and kings to the brightness. So if the light stops shining, only Gentiles will be there. But kings will not come. And so when we commit ourselves to excellence, when you keep praying as if you've not started, when you keep pressing as if you've not started, when you keep learning the laws again, let me tell you the truth. There is none of my messages that I don't listen to. It's a discipline. This message I'm preaching now, as I go back home between now and 3 a.m., I must listen to this message before I sleep. It's a discipline. If for any reason I skip it, there are disciplinary actions I met upon myself. You see that? Yes. If for any reason I sleep because I'm human and by morning I don't listen to this, I must listen to it at least two or three times. First for my personal edification and then two for improvement and correction. No week should be a worse version of me. Everything should be improvement. That is my commitment to keeping you. That is my partnership with God.
when you want the nations to listen to you, you prepare like the press mediocres and want nations and kings to hear you, no matter what you have to say. Hallelujah. Some of you, the way you dress is the reason why kings cannot hear you. You dress like to steal from kings and they run away from you. Yes, sir. You don't dress like a king yourself. You remind them of the people that cause them pain and they run away from you. If you're a businessman here, let me challenge you. Go and have a meeting with your workers this week. Gather all of them and say, I came to church and an orientation was given by the man of God. Let's steal out 30 minutes and have a meeting. You dress well. You clean this office. Go and get somebody. Remove this paint that looks like this is a dilapidated structure. Paint, but it will take from my profit. It's a mindset. Every time you feel limited, just remember my message. It's a mindset. Go and scrape that paint. Put something nice. Put a signboard so that people will know this is where you are. Train your staff when people come, you greet them. Good afternoon, sir. Is this so and so place? Yes, sir. Can I see your boss? Don't say, I, am I not a human being? No, it's a mindset. I'm wrapping up, but the church is a place of learning. Okay, I appreciate you, sir. Could you give me a minute? Let me just talk with him. If I have the permission, I'll let you know. But in advance, just for you to know that please, if he's busy, don't find offense. You have represented that company well. By the time the person calls, she will not be angry. He will say, there's one of your staff. Her name is XYZ. This lady did something to me that made me, you are a good man. And because of that, what I was coming to tell you, the business contract to work, one person brought increase. Do you think they will not promote that one person? There is a science to promotion. It's not just superstition. If I'm a CEO, there are people I will never promote. And I will make sure they know it. If they are not going to grow, there's no sentiments anywhere. If you're a man of God, go and settle down, do your homework in the name of Jesus. Settle down and do your homework. If it's time to pray, pray. Don't stand before God's people and you keep speaking and say, be healed, be blessed. No testimonies, nobody's coming. No grace, no fire. Let me tell you, members love you, but they love their destinies too. They love their children too. If they see indefinitely that there are no fruits of transformation, there's no fruit of genuine encounter, they will love you, but they will quietly go and look for where they will find answers. Am I right on that? We're going to pray. Let me give you two final thoughts. Write this down. By the ministry of light makes you see and reveal the value of salvation. Knowing the truth by the ministry of light will make you see in your life and will make you reveal the true value of salvation. That means the real value of salvation is displayed at the point of your transformation if you are not transformed you will cheapen salvation and make it look like Jesus did not really do anything spectacular the excellency the real value in salvation is revealed not just at the point of the new birth but at the point of transformation that is when you will see his power that is when you will see his wisdom that is when you will see his favor that is when you will see the influence. That is when you will see the excellence. Final word for tonight. The ultimate proof, and please let me request you write this. The ultimate proof of the presence and the power of light is not intelligence, but liberty. The ultimate proof of the presence of and power of light is not intelligence but liberty that means when all is said and done the proof that you have enjoyed the ministry of light is not just that you become more brilliant or more enlightened is the liberty that your life commands and the liberty that you bring to others on account of your light because in his light we see light in your light as his representative others too should see light are we together no matter what I say I know about healing 
no matter what I say I know about transformation no matter what I say I know about favor the end product of it is the liberty that attests to that knowledge if it cannot happen something is wanting with your light it is false light you are carrying it is the reason why we continue to press thank God for what we've seen but for the sake of other areas we have not seen we keep pressing unashamedly pressing forgetting the things that are behind and reaching forth for the things that are before he says I press so the ultimate proof of the presence and the power of light I repeat for one last time is not intelligence there are many intelligent people but they cannot command liberty in their lives and they cannot command liberty in the lives of others I've taught tonight on the ministry of light this is the journey beyond salvation it is how people use light as a tool and as a weapon to dethrone imaginations, to dethrone thoughts, to dethrone reasonings, to dethrone mindsets until that which is consistent with the word of God becomes so exalted and elevated, literally becomes the frame of their thinking, superior information coming by the word, superior information coming by the ministry of the Holy Spirit, superior information coming by the blessings of priesthood. Are we together? And on account of that, that you submit yourself, bringing yourself closer to light, hearing like you are hearing and receiving in your spirit, and then allowing yourself through consistency and repetition to be transformed by that light, obtaining grace to make decisions that are consistent with your transformation and allowing that glorious light, that energy, that indescribable force that leaves the transformed, the force that leaves you is like a messenger. It goes around Abuja. It goes around Lagos. It goes around Africa saying favor, come to this sister. Blessings, come to this sister. It is on account of that you can say, like it was said to Abraham, you are blessed in the city and you are blessed in the country. You are not blessed because of location. You are carrying the same mindset. So the effect becomes the same in Europe, the same in Africa, the same everywhere. If Africa does not contend for transformation, even if we relocate everywhere, it's like a new car with the same driver. You will reproduce the same result. Are you ready to pray? Please rise up on your feet. Rise up on your feet. We're going to pray just two prayers and we're done. Prayer point number one. Father, I receive your light. Go ahead and pray. I receive your light. High level spiritual illumination. The light that will transform superior thoughts, superior ideas, superior beliefs. Someone pray one minute. Sabalika parakatoskiata. Embra katabeleke paruske frenda beresko balesh. Egra pakata parondos koprenda beleke pariata. Jabra kaparade kebereko tosiata. Light in the name of Jesus. Light in the area of my finances. Light in the area of my spiritual life. Light in the area of my career. Light in the area of family and relationships. Light in the area of leaderships and my pursuit i receive light by the spirit light beyond the influence of culture light beyond the influence of my background light beyond the influence of my limitations someone pray you may be born in nazareth but you don't need to carry the mindset of the nazarenes you can carry the mindset of he that has come from above because he that comes from above is above all. You are a Nigerian, a proud one at that, but carry the mindset of a global giant. Carry the mindset of one who has come from above, through Nigeria, above, through Nigeria, above, through Nigeria, above, through Africa. You are an agent of change, an agent restoring righteousness, an agent restoring order within your system.
in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus final prayer pray this with all your heart the discipline to partner with God as he seeks to transform me that will be your next prayer and final prayer tonight the discipline it is not a gift transformation is not a gift there is no gift of transformation in the Bible there is a labor dimension to transformation what God does is to give you the enabling grace go ahead and pray everybody transformation the discipline pray the discipline to learn the principles of wealth not just to assume it the discipline to learn how ministry works the discipline to learn how leaders become people of influence the discipline to learn how spiritual growth happens that this the anointing comes how it increases hallelujah let me speak over your life light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord 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 Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord. One more time. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord. Listen. There is a mentality that when you have by grace, you will never be poor. It doesn't matter what happens. It's not pride. The energy that leaves from you will edit everything that will bring you poverty. And if anything happens in your life that looks like poverty, is God's law. It will send a signal to the spirit. This kind of mindset should not be in lack. Men and systems will realign themselves until you bounce back. It's a law. Increase is a mindset. When you understand the mindset of increase, then the grace for increase comes. Listen, graces come in honor to mindsets. Graces come in honor to beliefs. Never forget this. Graces come in honor to mindsets. Don't just look for graces. Find out the mindset that the graces are looking for. There is a kind of mindset that when you have, even before you pray for the grace, it would have arrived. Because the mindsets are magnets. It is true. There are things I began to experience in my life before intentionally praying for them. I focused on transformation. And the, the power, the force that was exerted, my God. You want to see magnetic power? Have a superior mindset. And see what it will draw to you it will draw a helper from the ends of the earth and bring it to your house everybody to help you is around and everybody to destroy you is around your mindset selects them and permits them to come or selects them and keeps them far from you the power of God does not just function arbitrarily there are people who have a mindset of life no matter what death does it will not kill them their mindset will forbid them to die you believe me when I tell you this there are people who have gone through things you will never imagine there was a mindset of life if the mindset was not there God will not say choose life choose life means you can choose wealth choose wealth means you can choose excellence Choose excellence means you can choose growth. As for me, I have taken time by the Spirit of God to sit down and write a list of things that I want to see and a list of things that will go. So when I say Satan, go away, I don't just pray a carnal childish prayer. As I drive him, I also remove the mindset that attracts him to me. When you say poverty, go, you have to receive the mindset that ejects poverty thinking. So that the next time it comes, 
Like Jesus, you will say, Satan come to me. Limitations come to me. Challenges come to me. But there was nothing in me that could attach itself to them. Father, in the name of Jesus, I have brought your counsel to your people. <laughs> that there is a journey beyond new birth. It's a journey with the ministry of light. And that the light of God is able to build us, to build our minds and position us for liberty and victory. I pray for you. Every mindset that you need to have, may you begin the journey of getting it by the Spirit. And hear me, if there is anything you have attracted to your life, trouble, failure, tragedies, causes, knowingly or unknowingly, you use your mindset to partner with evil for your destruction. Let mercy speak for you now. 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 Therefore, I prophesy upon you, rise to a new level. Don't reject it. Rise to a new level. May your spiritual life scale to a new height. Let the power of the Holy Ghost rest upon you. I speak favor upon you. I call you victorious. I call you blessed. I call you favored. I call you honored by God. When men say there is a casting down, for you there will be a lifting up. I declare that kings will look for you. Nobles will look for you. Captains of industry will look for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Regardless your background, I empower you to excel. What your father could not do, go ahead and do it. What your mother could not do, go ahead and do it. The limitations that came with where you are coming from, I cut it away from your life. The discipline to be transformed, receive the grace for it. Wave your hands to Jesus. Thank you for staying to the end of this video. Thank you. We are very, very appreciative of your presence in this community. This is a community of believers. We are here to enlighten ourselves through the Word of God, through practical life applicable teachings. So if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe to this channel. If you have not liked this video, Please just take two seconds and just hit that like button and share this video with others to bless someone just as you have been blessed by these videos. It is only God that can do the impossible. And when you are faced with impossibility in your life, the only place to run to, the only person to run to is God. And that is why we encourage ourselves to keep studying the word of God, to keep praying, fasting, to keep meditating on the word of God so that God will come through for us. Have a nice time. God bless you. See you in another of our videos. And there are so many videos that we have posted so far. Go through our channels. Go through our channel and check on our videos and see how impactful they are going to be in your life. Thank you. God bless you. Keep shining for Jesus. Keep shining for God. Peace.